something interesting happened, you know, recently. Kofo Obasanjo Blackshire, the daughter of former President Olusegun Obasanjo, wrote a fascinating book that we reviewed on this show um, not too long ago, remember, titled Pillars of Statecraft, where she highlighted six pillars that are essential for nation building all over the world. Fascinating book. Well, she publicly presented this book at an event that had some of the brightest minds around, including, of course, her father, the former president of Nigeria, Lucia Gomba Sonjo, who was there as one of the panelists during the event. Well, we were there and we enjoyed ourselves. So I hope you enjoy the short report. Dignitaries from different walks of life are seated to grace the official launch of Kofu Obasanjo Blackshire's debut book, Pillars of Statecraft. Kofu Obasanjo Blackshire is the daughter of former President of Nigeria, Ulusegu Obasanjo. Pillars of Statecraft outlines six essential pillars of nation building, which had first been introduced by Chief Ulusegu Obasanjo at the inauguration of the Africa Progress Group, formerly known as Africa Progress Panel. For Basinger Blackshaw's pillars of statecraft are protection, prosperity, population, politics, partnership, and the combination of prayer and pleasing God. Entrepreneur, corporate leader, and the chairman of the event, Aibuja Aik Imukwede, in his opening remarks, applauded the patriotic spirit of the author. This is first and foremost a matter of celebrating intellectual output intellectual output that is driven by a strong sense of patriotism, both at the national level to her country and certainly to the continent, Africa, and as a global citizen to the whole world. The book reviewer, Professor Peter Okebukola, on his part, gave a breakdown of the book. This book, Pillars of Statecraft, is broadly divided into seven chapters and the central thesis of the work underscores the importance of six pillars. You are talking about five, you're going to see the sixth uh, later that can enhance growth and development in Africa. The book, through an introduction, provided some of the most prevalent development issues in global politics and explained various concepts such as failed states, failing states and weak states and straight to the official unveiling of the book to the glory of <laughs> this is very exciting At the panel session led by Chief Obasanjo, the panelists noted that the population, that is, the people, are the essence of a state. There were other important submissions. States are not the same. And it matters what exactly the states are. So in terms of the degrees of statehood, you would find that context, the historical context, the social drivers, you know, that, that, that lead to forms of statehood would be important. In this regard, there's an argument, there's a school of thought that believes that in most parts of Africa, we haven't arrived at the forms of statehood that would be able to provide the capacities, whether for um, prosperity or for protection. Or for... So maybe we need more prayer than you know, all of these elements. For me, there's still no substitute for real working democracy to manage any nation, particularly nations with diversity. Poor management of uh, diversity, which led to the breakaway of South Sudan, has continued in South Sudan, and up till now, South Sudan has no peace. So, 
the point really is what will our people, our leaders do to be able to manage diversity in such a way that diversity will be an asset, not a liability. The author explained how father-daughter virtual conversations and learnings during the lockdown birthed the book. So I finished the course at the London School of Economics and Political Science and Daddy and I were both in lockdown, so he was here in Nigeria, I was in the UK, both locked down. And I enjoyed the course so much, I loved everything that I learned and I was keen to keep that knowledge alive. I didn't want it to just dissipate because everyday life took over. So because Daddy was in lockdown, we started this sort of father-daughter virtual um, learning sessions because I thought he's the best politician I know, um, who better to learn from than him? And what better way to utilize that time while he was in lockdown than to garner his experience, really draw on his experience and everything that he's lived and learned over a lifetime. So that was where the concept came from. Pillars of Statecraft presents fundamental building blocks for excellence in statecraft and national development.